Yo, I haven't seen a lineup this clean in a minute. July 2020 is about to be anime heaven. It's about to be heaven. Yo, I don't think anybody's ready for this. Also, sorry about my voice. It's like four in the morning right now and I need to be asleep, but I wanted to make this video for you guys so that way you guys know what's coming up and what you guys should be looking forward to. So if you haven't already, please set your calendars, your reminders, your pagers, your agendas, your schedule. I don't care what you do, okay? Make sure you have these dates marked somewhere, okay? Right on a piece of paper, put on the fridge. These are the dates of most of the anime that's dropping this month. In this month alone and to be honest all of them look pretty good however there are some that I'm really looking forward to so in no order here are some of them I gotta start it off of God of High School okay like ooh. I love action anime I love fighting I love seeing good fights too okay and based on the trailer I believe we're gonna see some dope fight scenes and I hope you guys saw the little sneak preview that they gave us because my excitement just cranked up to like a million percent I'm gonna just say this though okay so there was a thief and one of the main characters was chasing him down on a bike there is a man that's probably one of the greatest heroes in all anime history that does this and that's my boy Moomin Rider from One Punch Man <laughs> My boy was always on his bike no matter what. It don't matter how strong the enemy was. If there was an enemy, you would see this man on his bike ready for the action. I feel like all my expectations are going to be met with the show. All right, next we have Sword Art Online Alicization, which to be honest is probably one of the best sword art arcs that they have. And with this, you actually don't need to watch like any of the other seasons. To be honest, you only really needed to watch like the first season to kind of get a feel of what's happening in this season. Kirito dives into another world that he has to save. However, there is a twist to this, okay? There is a twist because I know a lot of people say that Kirito is OP and this one, he's not as OP. So I'm not going to spoil it for anybody who wants to see it, but there is a war that's happening in like the game or world he's dived in and the fights are amazing, all right? The fights are amazing. It's definitely turning up. I'm definitely ready for this season. And again, if you're not on it, you definitely need to check this one out. Next, we have Decadence. So I don't know too much about the plot of this show, but basically, from my understanding, is that monsters have come and, like, taken over the world or, like, they're inside the world and the humans have to go kill them off. And to do this, they create these robots and machines to help them fight. But the reason why I got super excited about this was, in the trailer, I got some Attack on Titan vibes. Because if you see the way they're moving, it reminds me of how the scouts move through the city, you know, to fight the Titans. So I feel like I'm going to get some good fight scenes in here. I feel like the plot's going to be really good and the art looks great. So I, I think it's, I think it's worth, I think it's worth checking out. We have Fire Force season two, which if you saw the last like fight in Fire Force, then you are definitely 200% ready for this next season. They talked more about the Adola Burst and the Adola Link and more about their powers. And now it seems like they got to fight like the big bad guys, which I'm ready to see it happen, man. I'm ready to see some fire. Plus it seems like the eight squadron has gained some new members, which I'm excited to see their powers. And I'm excited just to see how they all like work together to beat these guys and hopefully uncover the secrets of the organization and how like they're starting all this mess. Lastly, we have Ray Zero, which my man Natsuki, man, he has seen so much pain. He could be an Akatsuki member, to be honest. But I've been waiting a few years for them to continue on. I'm really curious to see how they're going to end it or if this is the end. And I keep seeing this scene of him walking past the dead bodies and I'm like, what is happening? I just need to know what's happening and if my man is gonna know peace because he deserves peace. He's seen too much. But yeah, those are just a couple animes I'm excited for. Of course, you know, One Piece has started back up, Black Clover started back up. Like, there's definitely, definitely just a powerful month, okay? It's, I'm in anime heaven. It's anime heaven, guys.